Okay, <laughs> as you can see, I got my lights turned on and uh, in order to turn on the front light, uh, automatically I have to install a motion sensor to turn on uh, the front lights automatically. And once uh, it's stopped mo moving at all, or it's daylight, the lights will turn off automatically uh, by the light sensor, just like that. <laughs> Okay, what I've done is I've actually dismantled one uh, Philips bought on motion and daylight sensor. Uh, basically, I just uh, take it out from the casing. And from here, I connect a 12 volt uh, rechargeable battery, lithium ion, to the circuit board, the positive and the negative. And then connect the output, actually previously from uh, the, the LED lights here, to my own very LED lights. So when I turn it on, um, it will turn on for a while and I have to cover the, the sunlight because it actually detects motion and daylight as well. The lights will automatically turn off after a few uh, seconds, I think one minute or so. Here it goes. I can actually use the motion center to detect and turn on these LED lights. That, that means I can use the circuit to drive a 12 volt battery to a 12 volt LED lights, which is very bright. Uh, it means that I can make my own uh, motion sensor uh, lights using a 12 volt lights uh, powered by this uh, Philip uh, spot on daylight and motion sensor uh, lights. Okay, this is a brighter look at the sensor which I've uh, added here and the wire down to um, the battery and the battery is uh, right over here this is the battery and the sensor is right over here and this go down to the LED lights and if there is no motion uh, detected it will turn off automatically and if there is motion it will turn on uh, automatically so now it's turned off right so motion you turn it on so when I'm riding, the lights will turn on automatically. Let's say I'm in a red light crossing and I, I'm not moving at all, uh, it will turn off automatically to save power. And when I'm moving, yep, it's turned on again. 